Okay, so there is a new battery fuse installed. 10 amp on this one. I took apart another one. It was a 30 amp. That one was not recoverable. However, this one is, and I'm going to tape it up and put her back together. Okay, so there we are taped up. I'm not wrapping it all the way around because I don't think it will clear the case when I push it in, the battery. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, here we are with the battery back in position. And uh, along here is where there was silicone. And I'm going to put some clear silicone back in there. This is a uh, automotive trim removal tool, and I suggest you use something that's plastic um, so you don't cut through this uh, shield and hit a battery. Okay, again, let's get back to it. Okay, it's hard to see, but there's a little clear bead of silicone there along the edge. Yeah, not very easy to see. But, so, get a little silicone in there where there was that original black RTV. I just used, uh, you know, clear tube. And uh, we'll put the end caps and gaskets up back on. That should be about it. Another word of caution. That little ribbon strip is for your power indicator, and you have to be gentle with it. Uh, the other end is the power connections. So you as well, when you're pushing it in and out and putting the silicone in there, you want to be delicate with those wires. Okay, so we're putting it back together. It takes a T10 Torx. And in here, there are four screws to hold the end caps on. And those end caps are these little plastic things. They pop off. You need to get like a razor knife and get in there. and Be careful not to break the tip off and hurt yourself. But that's about it. Okay, good luck.